Before we get started, I'd like to briefly explain my seven energy point chakra spread. The cards on the left are the unconscious inner self. The card in the center is the heart. And the three cards on the right are the conscious for self. The card on the bottom left is the base of your spine. It's a combination of many things from past lives to tragic or cherished childhood memories up to the present. We're always culling and bringing new things into our lives and evolving. That's why I'm calling it sourcings and urgings instead of foundation. The second card up is your pelvic or sacrum. And this is awakening or arousing. This is where your spiritual awakening is and growth of all kinds and includes your sexual prowess. This can be a cosmic life breath. The cosmos has natural laws that live in harmony, but we don't always live in harmony with them. The top left-hand card is the solar plexus, or what I consider sensing and feeling. This is where you get those gut feelings about something when they're right or wrong. This is also a universal life force contrary to a cosmic life breath. This is where chaos ensues in our lives. The center card is the heart of the matter or the situation. We're always asking questions. Why did this happen and what's going to happen next? The heart of the matter must connect with the unconscious and the conscious so we can leave our shadow self in the dust. Another Jungian um, re reality here. And maybe have more of an understanding of what's happening in our lives. The card on the bottom right is the throat, or what I consider communicating and teachings. It has to do with how we accept the rules of society and how we live our life. Are you living a conservative, orthodox life or more of a new wave, do what you want kind of life? The second card up is the third eye, or seeing, or envisioning. It's more of bringing things from a linear to a three-dimensional perspective. The third eye is our pineal gland in the center of our brain that's activated by light. So this can also be considered enlightenment. The card on the top right is the crown, our knowing and understanding. You can have a lot of knowledge, but if you cannot apply this knowledge wisely, it's not wisdom. In the past, I used to pull a hidden Rider weight card as I was doing the readings. But for logistic reasons, I'm going to be pull, pulling all of the cards at once and then putting these clarification cards alongside each of the main cards as I'm telling the story of the reading. The subtitles will direct you through this so you don't lose track of what's going on and where I'm at and what card I'm reading. And then on the left, I'll be putting a past card. And on the right, I'll be putting a future card. And on with the readings. Dear Cancer, I think you noted that I'm preempting the messages of the Angels card. And now we'll be doing a few rune readings. I like the runes. I bought these runes years ago, probably the Precambrian era geologically. And I had no idea that I'd be using them years later on a YouTube channel, but they're quite small, so maybe I might have to replace them with some bigger ones. Now, I hope you've made it through April, or are making it through April fairly unscathed. I know you had some obstacles in the April monthly, and here you have some obstacles also in the May monthly. Actually, while I was putting the cards out, I thought, these guys are going to kill me because you just got hammered on the unconscious side. But on the bright side, you were definitely redeemed on the conscious side. So let's see what's going on in your reading. Down at the base of your spine for your sourcing and urgings. Receive the Page of Swords. He brings in a lot of thoughts, ideas, and unfortunately, many, many opinions. Never underestimate the Page of Swords because he's very clever, but he lacks an emotional control. And this is where you'll hear somebody say something that you think, did that person really say that? Because it was probably jaw-dropping, awe-dropping. <laughs> the 
The page of swords isn't really the kind of person you want to have around you, like at work or as a neighbor or something, because they're always sneaking around being a secret agent man, trying to get dirt on you, and then turning around and gossiping about you. And I mean, boy, that sword is just cutting with words and saying very hurtful things. And maybe you should kind of keep an eye out on somebody in your life that's doing that. And if you're the one that is doing it, to stop it. But whatever is going on with the Page of Swords is causing some kind of morass in your life. Because the clarification card is the Five of Pentacles. This is a card that points out that your physical world needs some dire attention. I call the Five of Pentacles the card of impoverishment. It's about being poor, loss of wealth. But Pentacles is not only wealth, it's health, and it can be well-being too. Something that's affecting your health, as well as your finances. Something's impacting your productivity and it's exhausting your strength. It's depleting you. I used the word deprivation the other day and I thought, yeah, that applies to Five of Pentacles. It's, it's damaging lack of material things. The rug's been slipped right out from under you. And I could see that happening because up there in your pelvic and your sacrum for awakening and arousing, you receive the tower and the death card together. Now this is heavy duty juju. And I think this is all related to the Page of Swords and the Five of Pentacles and what's going on between those two is now causing some anarchy with your spiritual awakening and your personal well-being and maybe even your sex life. I don't know. But the tower is saying something suddenly collapsed. And in a funny way, it can be positive because it can be like freedom, freedom from bondage. It can indicate some type of release and relief at the same time. But whatever is happening here has caused you to go into a transformation. Whatever heavy-duty things have happened to you recently has made you rethink about what's going on. And the Page of Swords is one of the cards, too, that has you recheck and rethink things. There's some positive things about the Page of Swords, but you have to be very careful when you see him in your spreads. Well, now that lightning has struck and you're moving along to bigger and better, hopefully, we'll go up to the solar plexus and see that even though you're in a transformation, you're still in bondage because you got the Eight of Swords not once but twice. You haven't freed yourself from something, ideas, possessions, people. In reality, you can escape any time, but you choose not to, which is inhibiting your personal growth. Because now we go down to the heart of the matter and receive the Page of Wands. Once again, you have this immature page energy coming into the party. Now these two pages, the Page of Swords and the Page of Wands, may be bringing in some type of news or messages because that's what they're well known for. But here the Page of Wands is about fire energy. It's about playing with fire and possibly getting hurt. But he can be important about bringing new things into your life, inspiring prophetic changes that'll take you out of your comfort zone because definitely your unconscious side needs a little revamping here. And it looks like good things are coming too because the clarification card for the Page of Wands is the Ten of Cups. A little glimpse of heaven over the Rainbow of Cups. The card of happiness. The card that requires you to live simply so you achieve happiness. A complicated life is not a happy life. You might not have the biggest house on the block or the most expensive car in the driveway, but you can have happiness in your life and in your home. And this is something that appears that you want to achieve. Now down on the bottom right for your throat, for your teaching, 
communicating. You received the sun card. How excellent, a new day dawning. You know, it's like the fog rising and all of a sudden you're seeing things with clarity, understanding and fulfillment. It's a purification after walking the shadowy path of the moon of the previous card. And the clarification card here is justice. When you see the presence of justice, it usually means that something's out of balance. You know, it can be contracts and court proceedings and different things like that, and maybe you're coming out on top on these, but I'm sensing it's more that things are coming back into an equilibrium. And maybe some people like the Page of Swords who has been misbehaving is going to receive the sort of accountability for his behavior. And now that things are coming back into balance, it appears that there's going to be a little more spiritual illumination through the sun card. It's kind of like your unconscious and conscious sides are finally talking to each other. So I think there was a lot of battles going on between your unconscious and your conscious. And why not? My goodness, with the tower and the death card alone is enough to say that there's been some turmoil going on inside you. Now up in your third eye for seeing and envisioning, you got the lover's card and it's right next to the ten of cups. The ten of cups is about family happiness and the lover's card too is about manifesting deeper emotional bonds with people. Lovers, family, friends. It's about harmonious relationships and making good decisions, making virtuous decisions instead of decisions that are driven by vice. And the clarification card is another good card. It's the Seven of Pentacles. I call this the almost the harvest card. You've worked really hard. You have your crops out in the field and you're just about ready to harvest, but they're not quite done yet. And this is the tenuous time where frost, hail, flooding, can wipe you out. And it's time to be vigilant and pay attention to detail. That's one thing that the Page of Swords had advised too, is to recheck your details. And the Justice card too can do the same thing when you're looking at documentation and paperwork and legal matters, is recheck your details. Now up in the crown, for your knowing and understanding. Receive the Ace of Cups. There you go. You got a new beginning for love and emotions. And it's right over the Lover's card. So this does have something to do with emotions. Love, caring, kindness. And the clarification card is the Six of Swords. It says you're moving on. You're moving away from the bad, unconscious things. And I pulled another clarification card, and you received the Two of Cups, the Minor Arcana Lover's card. So, And you see the Six of Swords is floating right towards the Two of Cups. So now there is going to be some rejuvenation in your emotional self and how you project yourself out to other people for love and caring. And on the left for your past, you received the hanged man. He kind of goes along with all of that's going on in the unconscious side. The legend goes that he's the Norse god Odin of knowledge, healing, death, and war, who hung for nine days for the wisdom of the runes, secret ancient letters. Odin conquered his struggle within by sacrificing himself to actually himself for rebirth. He relinquished freedom from the outside world for stillness to acquire the rune's wisdom through a spiritual journey of death to rebirth. In reality, the legend goes that he actually physically died and came back to life. His lesson is to stop trying to control the physical world and look at things in a different light and relinquish old ideas because new ideas are evidently seeking their place. 
pretty much he's saying just go with the flow. And maybe that's been hard for you to do because the clarification card is the Three of Swords. It's the heartbreak card. It's about severing ties. You might have checked in that heartbreak hotel. But this might not be from necessarily a love breakup. But this can be the loss of a family member, a friend. It's just an emptiness. And all of a sudden you're thrown into that hangman mode. It was time to take a time out and rethink things because your unconscious self has been in constant turmoil. But with the justice card there, it appears that things are now equilibrating. And many things are looking up after you've gone through the hanged man journey because over on the right for the future received the king of cups. This is you, Cancer. You're in Cancer land now. This is personifying you all the way. You've made it up to the apex of king. And all kings assist you in attaining your long-term goals. And this king has the talent of connecting the unconscious to the conscious self. And this is what you've needed all along. He's now the man that's in emotional control. Way back down at the base of your spine, the Page of Swords showed up, and that was the one that lacked control, lacked emotional control. And all of a sudden, it's saying now that you've mastered your passionate emotional self so that you can move forward. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.